What's up, guys? So today I was, I'm getting ready to uh, go on a fishing trip. Uh, I'm going to be going and doing some kayaking in the Coosa River uh, for crappie and white bass. So stay tuned for a video of that. Um, and I'm getting my stuff ready to go fishing today. And I thought I would um, make a video and show y'all how I get my stuff ready and how I keep my tackle organized. Because that's a question that a lot of people have to ask because it's a tough thing. It was a tough thing for me to learn how to organize my tackle and keep them in a place where they wouldn't rust and get wet and all that stuff. And also, since I'm fishing a kayak, um, there's not much room in a kayak, so you want to have all your stuff organized to where you don't want to be dropping stuff in the water. and It's a mess if you don't have the right setup. So basically, So I got a box, right, a shoe box right there. I'll open that up, show y'all what I got in there in a minute. I got my camera stuff over there. I got my tackle box. I got a cinch tight um, backpack. I have some tackle box, some little boxes for your tackle, and I have a a little bag with holes in it. I really don't know what you call it, but you get the gist. So. So in this box right here, it's just a cheap shoe box that I had lying around. Basically, I just uh, I just have I just this is where I keep my knickknack stuff, stuff that I really don't want to put my tackle box through. I don't use it very often. I got this little thing, uh, this little box. Got some rope, um, some, some uh, chain stringer, uh, some boxes. This actually has some weights in it, but these weights I don't use very often. Some broken baits, which I can use pieces off of that to put on my other baits when they break and stuff. Pliers. Um, miscellaneous worms and stuff. And that's a good way to keep all your... Uh, keep all your miscellaneous stuff that you don't use on a day-to-day -day basis. That's a good way to keep that without having to clutter up everything. And also without throwing it away. Uh, and this, and this is my tackle box. As you can see, this tackle box is not very space efficient. It's not very efficient for a for keep for putting in a tackle box. Because I mean, to for putting in a kayak. Uh, so you can't really open it up and all that stuff in a kayak. You end up dropping stuff in the water. I'll get into it in a little bit about what I what I do to avoid that um, problem. Uh, and here's my cinch type thing, uh, backpack, and this. I found this the other day, and because I was looking for a way to be able to keep my fish alive in the water and without having to use a big minnow bucket thing or a minnow big uh, bucket to keep my fish alive and I found this it has a zipper and it opens up and it's a bag where water can circulate through you can hold a pretty decent amount of fish in here and it's absolutely I mean it's completely lightweight I mean you can literally fold it up and put it in your pocket. So I'm real. I'm looking forward to trying that, seeing how it works, seeing how good it keeps fish alive. I think it's going to do a really good job. Um, and then so now I'm going to show you what I do with my kayak. To keep uh, to keep my tackle safe, uh, space space wide. How to keep? Now I'm going to show you how to keep uh, take your tackle. How I take my tackle and make it uh, space efficient to where it's not going to be um, cluttering up stuff. So I really like using these little lightweight um, cinch type backpacks because. You can carry your boxes. They fit. They're perfect size for your uh, 
throw the boxes like this. Bam. You carry them on your back. You can, you can even have them on your back while you're in your kayak. So, basically, I use that to keep my, all my tackle in. But really, I'm not going to need all this tackle tomorrow when I go. Because this is this is all the tackle that I use on a day to day basis, whether it be for largemouth bass, catfish, brim, crappie, pike, whatever I'm fishing for, trout. Um, so basically, I'm going to take my lures um, that I'm going to be using for that day, my lures and plastics and worms and stuff, and then I might actually throw some other stuff in there just in case you know something else be happening. You know, you, it happens a lot where you're out there crap fishing and you know, bam, you may just look over and there be big stroppers busting the top of the water. And you, believe me, you don't want to be caught up in that situation where you don't have uh, your stuff and then you have a monster fish swimming right next to your kayak or boat. Because believe me, fish will do it every time you forget that stuff. So I use, I use this. I like to use two smaller ones because I can keep my hooks in one, my hooks and weights in one, my jigs and my jigs and jig heads in another, and all my other larger stuff in the bigger one. So I'm going to start out with putting my lures in here. And this, these right here, when crappy fishing or any other fishing, are great to have little pliers. I only I have these little pliers in here because I'll be I'll be uh, panfish fishing and you really don't need you know don't really need the big boys out there um, so it's always good to have one of those in there and I'm gonna take and put my topwater frog in here just in case I have some bass I'm gonna take my deep diving crankbait. Put that little jump in there. My other crankbait, this one actually imitates a shad, which they're actually feeding on this time of year, up heavily. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to take his jerk bait, golden jerk bait, put that in there. I got this, uh, I always like to put another jerk bait in there because I'm a real big jerk bait fan. Um, and then I'm going to take uh, a spoon. I'm going to put my spoon in there. And that's really all I'm going to need. I need to put this in there too. And I got this big old jig in there. This big old, big old jig. So that's really all I need for the big tackle box because I'm not going to be using a bunch of bigger baits tomorrow. If you want to put more in there, it's really up to you. I just don't. It causes more weight. Also, it, you know, it, it's not. It's not. It's not the biggest of your concerns. Just throw some in there, just in case. And then I'm gonna take. Actually, I'm gonna use this one for my jigs because it's just the way the boxes are made. So I'm gonna take my bigger jigs. that one. Got some of those in there. Got five or six of them in there. I'm going to take some tubes. Different, sort them in different colored tubes. Put them in a different compartment. Different compartment. All different colors because there's really no telling. A lot of crappy fishing is experimenting. Then I'm going to take these. All different colors of these. Screw tails. Them in there. Something fell over in a sec. And then I actually have another another assortment in my uh, tackle box of of other little screw tails. They call them screw tails, but really when I bought them, I didn't realize uh, the size of the tails. If you look, if you look at these screw. If you look at the size of the tails on this, 
if you look at the size of the tails on those screw tails, this one right here has a lot longer of a tail and more of a curve. This one has a lot smaller of a tail with a little bit smaller of a curve. Um, I took I put these two uh, these two sizes of screw tails in different um, different sections because this one with a longer tail it has more of a spin to it. So I like to use those for casting, and I like to use these with the smaller tails for when I'm tight lining it. Um, that's just the way I like it because I don't feel like uh, you're gonna need as much spin when you're uh, when you're down when you're tight lining. So now, so now that I've put these in there, I also have some smaller, some smaller screw tails. Oops, a little bit different color. Put them in there. You want to get all your colors you got because there's really no telling. You, there's a lot of experimenting. Once you find uh, your your color or the way they're going to like it, you're going to want to stick with that color. Also, you want to make sure you have uh, lots of the same color because the worst thing is work case scenarios when you go out there and they're hitting on black and then they tear your uh, screw tail, off, your jig off, and uh, you ain't got no more black ones. Um. And then I'm going to take me some hair, hair jigs. I got some hair jigs here. Uh, don't really know what size they are. Just put them in there. I haven't really had a ton of success with these yet, but I actually uh, haven't really tried hair jigs a lot. So it's something that I've, uh, um, I've been wanting to try a little bit more, more of. And then I'm going to take my jig heads. Jig heads. Put me and that's that's my box right there I got all my jigs and all my jig heads ready for jigging for crappy or pan fish right there and I'm gonna take this one just a little bit dirty I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put me some worms some plastic worms in there actually these this right here is really my knick knack box um, I'm gonna put some worms in there not many just in case I want to try for some bass or something because down where I'm going I have uh, caught a few bass a few small mountain bass and stuff actually they were I caught a couple spots and one small mouth bass I was using a rail trap so and I'm also going to put uh, this cork in there because I was observing the other fishermen the other fishermen while they were down there fishing they were using a cork with uh, their jig underneath um, so I'm gonna try that out when we're in the court. Um, I'm gonna put some hooks in there. Put some bass. Bass hooks. And some swivels. And I'll actually put some uh, catfish hooks in here, just in case I catch a smaller fish and want to do a little bit of, I want to set one out for it, put that in there, and then take a couple of these big weights. I actually got these weights right here off of one of my throw nets that uh, it got tore up, and uh, I just uh, was like, might as well not let them weights go to lose, go to, go to, might not let them weights go to wait, waste, my tongue's messing up, sorry guys, might, might as well not let them go to waste, so I took, cut them all off, and I got about, I got a, about 50 of them, I got about 50 of them right now, I had about 100 of them, once I cut them off, I've been using them, I'll just take in, put them in there, top them out back, so they don't slide off. Alright, there's my other little box. So now, I got all this tackle right here for, for pretty much any fish that I'm uh, that could come. But I also got a lot of the baits that I'm going to be using for the target species I'm going for. So 
And now, cinch tight backpack. Slide it in there. Next, I'm going to throw the bags of worms in there. Got a couple of bags. Got some, uh, got some flutes. And I'll put me some line in there. There's no telling when you hook up to a big one and they accidentally just tear all your line off something and you get snagged or something. And then, bam. Done. Look at that. Completely space sufficient. All you tackle. Got that. You got something to keep your, uh, you also put that in there. You got something to keep your fish in. And bam. You're ready to go. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video I made today of me showing you how I, uh, how I organize my fishing equipment and how I use it to, uh, how I organize it to keep it in my boat to where it's not all cluttering up stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please, uh, um, please like the video and, uh, put a comment in the comment section. Um, stay tuned for, uh, some videos, some more crack fishing videos. I plan on putting, uh, some white bass videos on there. Catfish, largemouth bass, spotted bass, everything. Y'all just leave me a comment below of what y'all want to see. I also will do hunting videos, uh, squirrel hunting, deer hunting, turkey hunting, uh, some trapping videos. I'll show y'all how to how, how I catch my bait, how I rig my bait. Y'all just let me know because I don't know if y'all don't tell me. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. Um, peace out. Bam.